like we were saying, you know, basically uh, the Heavenly Father, man, he's um, he's got the prophets out here now that are, uh, um, you know, uh, taking the, the, that covering cast out, uh, off, man, okay? And these people, they're, they're, they're so used to that, 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 that Roman Catholicism, man, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what they're, uh, they've been taught their whole lives. Yep. And now that the prophets are out, it's a shock to them that they're, they're, they, they're really getting, even though they, they can't receive the full understanding, but they're, they're being told what is right and what is wrong now, man. Mm -hmm. And, and they're in awe now. Okay. And it's funny because that's what I told you. I quoted eight, Amos 3 and 7, Colossians 1 and 26. You know, hey, the most high only deals with, hey, with his, uh, with his, he reveals his secrets unto his servants. Who's his servants? It's men. It's prophets. It's not women, man. True. I got that uh, Isaiah 25 okay. and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And that's what it is. Hey, these people are, are really out here walking blind, man. Hey, and but he got his prophets out here, hey, to lead the people the right way. You know, hey, we hey, we breaking down the strongholds, man. You know, I got that scripture too. God, and hey, you saw Edom is the one that he's put up this uh veil, man. Yep. All right. And he's blinded all these people. He was that uh, anointing cherubim, you know. Yep. That would, you know, to to basically blind the people. Yep. You know, he he's the one who uh, uh, spews out this madness. You know, uh, he 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 says that your nationality is a, uh, uh, you know, you know, you might be a uh, uh, African American or, you know, a uh, Mexican or Chinese or yep. an Arab. He's the one who put those labels on people. You know, then you know he started. You know, he also pushed all that uh, uh, Roman Catholicism on the people, man. Yep. You know, God loves everybody. Jesus forgives you. You know. <laughs> but hey, and that's the, a false balance. That's right. And through the spirit, though, man, you know what? Uh, what we're um, as the brother quoted it, man, we're we're uh, taking down these strongholds, man. All these lies, all this false, you know, doctrine, all these false philosophies. Hey, man, we're telling you what it is, man. Whether you believe it, like it or not. Hey, because Romans three and three says, uh, basically, hey, even if you don't believe it, it, it doesn't make the Most High a liar. Base, I butchered it. God. It's gonna come to pass, man. And everything that's come, that, 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 that great millstone been saying, man, from the elders, the apostles on down, man, it's been coming to pass. They've been teaching about the mark of the beast before it even came. Now it's manifest. You know? God. And those, hey, those are heavy, because hey, I told her about what's the mark of the beast. She said, oh, it's uh, Antichrist. It's, 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 uh, I said, how can you buy and sell with it? I was like, supposed to be a, it's an RFID chip. I was like, look it up. You know, and and that's what Esau pushed out, man. It's called the uh, called the Most High Yeshua. He made that up. Hey, in order to tell, in order to uh, tell a lie, you gotta know the truth. Come Esau on. knows the truth. You know, and now he, hey, hey, hey fucking his skirts being lifted, man. That's right. This is uh, Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. It says, "For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to pull." To the pulling down of strongholds, yeah. casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. That's right. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Uh, we, we preach the uh, these the scriptures, okay? And everything, all, all these false, you know, doctrines, false philosophies, ideologies, they're they're, they're getting brought down, man. Mm -hmm. And they're getting put into subjection, all right? Because, see, this Bible, whether people, you know, believe it or not, is the truth, man. And the reason why we know it's the truth is because of prophecies. Things are being fulfilled right before our eyes. And they uh, were said in the scriptures before it even happened, yep. okay? That's how we know this is the truth. And anything that comes against it fails, man. That's why it says in the scripture, I think it's in Isaiah where it says, a nun shall wander mate yep. something under that nature yep. and nothing's going to compare to the, the scriptures because everything else is false doctrine it's made up you know that's a fantasy that's right these scriptures uh speak reality man that's right all right it tells you of the past the present and the future that's right. That's all right? right before you know that's right and that's a beautiful thing man and that's why I, these people are, are losing it man the truth, you know, the prophets are out and about, man. 
That's right. You know, it, it, it cutting all, all their um, all their doctrines up, man. Yep. Hey, cause hey, cause hey, man. Hey, Jake is waking up. The house of David is being built at, at, right before your eyes, man. You got you got to see it with spiritual eyes in order to see it, man. You no, know, hey, and Esau's kingdom is falling apart, man. That's a balance. Esau's kingdom is crumbling. Hey, all his uh, philosophies and everything, all his uh, witchcraft, hey, is being, yeah. hey, it's failing on him, man. Yeah, he, he hates get the, it. Get the Isaiah 19 and like three. Come. On. Now that you said that, man. Yeah, because at, at one point in time, you know, the left hand side was working in this place. Yep. You know, if you worship the left hand side, you were side, you were prospering. Well, we're in that era now where righteousness is prevailing. That's Righteousness right. is being exalted. The left-hand side is diminishing, man. All right, they, those left-handed angels aren't working uh, with these people like they used to. You know, hey, the, the heavenly Father was, you know, letting them, you know, telling those uh, left-handed angels, you know, to, um, you know, to, to make them prosper. But now it's getting to a point where, you know, the, the heavenly Father's, you know, telling them, hey, don't help them out, mm -hmm. and in fact, destroy them. That's right. You know, these like 19 and 3, right? Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 3. It says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have fat, familiar spirits and to the wizards. Is that it? Yeah, so basically, hey, uh, uh, this is modern day Egypt, okay? And the spirit of this place is uh, uh, failing. And these people, they still try to run to the the charmers, the wizards, all right, these Satanists, they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Well, why is everything failing? And hey, we could tell you why it's failing, because it's judgment time, man. That's why, all right? The Heavenly Father's sick of this place. He's tired of it. This wickedness has to be put down. And we're telling you through the spirit of Pari Yahweh Hashim Shai that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, all right, for all the wickedness that's, uh, uh, that's been taking place uh, on this land. Yeah, okay? Right. I got you got something else? Go ahead, I'm, I'm looking for one. Right I got now. this in uh Second Thessalonians chapter two. And um I'm just gonna get to the point. Verse uh eight. It says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. You know? And the wicked is talking about Esau Edom. All right, the so-called white man, he's being revealed in these latter days. His skirt's being lifted. You know, as the brother said, you know, hey, his all his philosophies are being, you know, taken down. People are, are waking up. You know, the, the, the house of David's uh, are rising up. E even on a carnal level, you know, people are seeing what this man's really about. He's nothing but a, 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 a he's a pedophile. Commits bestiality. He loves bloodshed. Hey, people are realizing what he is, man. And it says, uh, "Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth." And the mouthpiece of the Lord uh, are the prophets, man. Hey, we're preaching this word, uh, and his kingdom's burning up, man. That's right. It's getting cut down. Hey, well, damn, I can't find and, it. And, and, and eventually, when it says it talks about the brightness of his coming. You know, mm -hmm. what does it say? Uh, it shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming. That's talking about when Yahweh Shah Hamashiach comes back. Once Yahweh Shah comes back from the world ignorantly ju calls Jesus Christ, his kingdom is going to get physically destroyed, physically taken down. All right? The elites, they're going to physically get put into uh, chains. They're going to go into hardcore slavery. All right? But at first, the, the, his kingdom's uh, getting. Uh, destroyed uh, uh, spiritually with this word. All right, everything happens spiritually first, and then things happen uh, uh, physically. It manifests physically uh, soon after. That's right. You know. Oh, uh, I got a quick one. This is Ephesians chapter six. Speak up a little bit. Doc. It's like it. <clears throat> there's Ephesians chapter six, verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong mm -hmm. in in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devils. You know yeah, that's that right. wild go back to trickery. That's right. So yeah, you got to put on the whole armor, man. That's right. You know, you know, ha you know, having these scriptures, you know, uh, uh, in your mind, you know, um, it's gonna get into you know having faith. 
first and foremost having the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because that's the strong tower. Yep. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. Yep. All right. That's right. You know, you gotta uh, have these things. You know, you yeah, you we're in spiritual warf warfare. You gotta have all these things on you, man. You gotta have your equipment. You know, you in in your uh, uh your weaponry ready, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says um verse twelve, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, this place is uh this is all about spiritual warfare. Hey, we we have uh uh you got you know Esau Edom having uh he you know he tries to cast spells on us. But it doesn't work because it says in Numbers 23 and 23 that there, uh, there's no enchantment under Jacob. But, hey, those left-handed angels that this man tries to sick on us affects us still, man. You know, right. we might get ailments. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people at the job might start, you know, um, bugging out, trying to get you fired. Mm -hmm. You know, the people in your household might uh, start, you know, turning against you. Mm -hmm. Things like this happen, man. This is spiritual warfare. Or you have stuff happen to you on your day-to-day -day walk, man. Yeah. Hey, right now we being we being attacked, especially in all different angles, man. That's right. You no, know, hey, hey, not too long ago we had fucking uh, Volcan Malone and his two demons come up, man. That's right. Hey, that was a, they they attacked us, man. You know, and what if we wasn't spiritual men, hey, the, the shit could have got real carnal, man. Hey, but we, hey, but we know through power of spirit, Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai, and hey, we cut them with the word, man, with the scriptures, cause just like Yahweh Shai did with was with, with, uh, Satan, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's how we gotta do everything with everybody else, man. Hey, you got you got cut everything with the scriptures, man. Especially the demons in your head. You know, trying to get you into other doctrines. Cause Galatians one and six or one and seven says, "Hey, if another angel, let me get it real quick." Cause that's what they're doing, man. They're preaching a different doctrine. I'm so locked, man. Come. I got it right. This is Galatians one and eight. But though we or an angel from heaven <laughs> preach any, bro, uh, break it down. Uh, Galatians one and eight. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And that's what it is. Hey, Esau and all these other, uh, what is witchcraft and all, and, and even Jake itself, man, because hey, you you are the father of the, uh, the devil, man. You join hand in hand with wicked, you should be surely be uh, thrust through. You're considered a heathen. Hey, because we tell Jake with the true name of, uh, of the Lord, the true name of the Savior, man. Hey, but hey, it's dreadful among them. Because the scripture says that hey, the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. If you're not sure. going against, uh, go, going uh, against the, the 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 evil wickedness of uh, of this worldly place, you're considered a heathen, man. You know, mm -hmm. and that name is dreadful among you, man. But hey, but that's good. All right, so be it. Because two thirds of our people have to be put put uh, put to death anyway. Okay. You know? I just one more verse in the Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 13 says Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day And having done all to stand And that's what it is man hey, we, this, <laughs> these, these, The times we in right now is evil You know we in evil times right now It's only going to get worse Esau going to come in like a flood man You know And he's going to try his hey, Now they're trying to um, oh, I forgot to uh, Ban you know, boycott the Bible, man. Why? Because it is it, it, exposing Esau on who he really is. Hey, he, hey, Jake is waking up, man. Esau is scared, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5 it, it is plain effect, man. Hey, the verse 2, it says, hey, they, 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 they pretty much fear and tremble, man, at the strangers of their salvation. Hey, mm -hmm. we got our power back, man. Little by little, we, we, we getting, hey, 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 because that name, uh, the name of Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai. Hey, we 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 pray, you know. We fast, you know, and we, and we and we curse these people in those names, man. And and it works. <laughs> it it truly works, but you have to believe it. God, I mean, you clearly see that this kingdom's uh, falling rapidly, man. You see it, like you know. All, every time you look on the news, you see the United States getting into it with all its allies, you know, it, its uh, enemies. See, uh, you know, uh, the the dollar of you know collapsing. Yeah. You know, you see all, all the all these things happening, man. Clearly, a yeah, uh, uh, divine force is bringing this place down, man. 
Yep. And that's your whole boss, shimmy all shot, man. Hey, because what's written is coming to pass. Yep. You know? You I can't find, yeah, I was looking for the scripture, but basically it goes into like, hey, the, the wickedness is being plucked out and righteousness is being uh, uh, planted in, man. Hey, and this word is being planted in, hey, hey, and it's flourishing, man. You know? Maybe it's in Second Ezra's. Is it? I think there's something like this. Man. Is it Second Ezra's? Um, Slack, yeah. Is it eight or six? Salaki, we're gonna try to look for this real quick. I think I know what you're talking about. That was second answer still. So. Oh, somewhere on these lines. Oh, I got a good one right here. Okay. Regardless, this goes with the with the lesson. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse. I'll start at. I'll start at twenty-seven. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Mm. Yeah, As for good. faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. You know, and that's what's happening. Evil's being put out, deceit's being quenched by, by this word, all right, and faith it's flourishing. All right, more and more uh, brothers and also the sisters, you know, those who believe, you know, are waking up, man. The elect and the one third are waking up. That's right. All right. They, they, they have faith. In the names of Yahweh, Shimei, Al Shai, they have faith in the prophecies. You know, they have faith that, that, that they're going to uh, be delivered, okay? And it's flourishing. It says, corruption shall be overcome, which it is, all right? And the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Mm. You know, and, and you're seeing the fruit, man. You got brothers all over the world. That's right. All over. <laughs> you got believers all over the world. They push in the, they put in the same doctrine. That's right. Because you got churches all over the world. Pushing bullshit doctrine. They got all that they, they they're not on one accord. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? Yeah. That's right. You know? Clearly, uh hey it says if the when the words uh push the four corners of the world, then shall come. Clearly clearly it's not Christianity or right. Catholicism. That's, That's been right. pushed literally all over the world. That's right. Hey, the Lord and his Savior hasn't come back, so clearly that's false doctrine. But this word is getting pushed and we're seeing a uh, a change in this place, man. That's right. You got anything else? Yeah. You know, uh, we're gonna end it off with that, and we hope this was edifying. And with that, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers out there. Shalom. Shalom. Ba ba ba.